as ESCC as an institution right now, currently, uh, we have uh, officers, 750 officers, who are supposed to um, investigate, that is both technical yeah. and also support, who are supposed to investigate corruption and assist 50 million Kenya shillings, uh, I mean 50 million in Kenya. Kenyans, yeah. in seeing that good governance and the services are offered as adequately as, as, as they expect. That is institutional capacity. Let's go to legal. Um, we have um, uh, laws. We have the Leadership and Integrity mm -hmm. Act, which is uh, the one which is after the chapter six of the constitution, basically to actualize the constitution, chapter six. The Leadership and Integrity Act is the governance uh, manual or the ones which is supposed to govern how state officers <coughs> and public officers are supposed to conduct themselves. The act uh, was enacted in 2012. It went to parliament. But uh, Ayub, and it's in public uh, domain, is on record. What went to parliament uh, and what came out are two different okay. uh, laws. Reason being, um, who are the targets? You know, it's like uh, taking, taking your, 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 your ship somewhere where you know there's a leopard. You know, who are the targets? Who are making these laws? The okay. laws are targeted to state officers and public officers. Will they really make those laws as tight as possible <clears throat> to curb corruption? Definitely, it's human nature where you know if it is affecting me, I'll try as much as possible to, to reduce or to dilute the effect it's going to be on me. Uh, secondly, there's a conflict of interest bill which has been pending in Parliament for a very long time. And there have been conversations. Okay. And that is to address basically even public officers and state officers doing business with government and the issue of disclosure and the issue of pro procurement. Because we find um, the losses that the government incurs mostly are procurement based. Because government is, is big business. Okay. And government does not offer services or goods to itself. It procures from other independent, uh, you know, private individuals. And that is where corruption is, and that is where money is lost. So are those laws tight enough? Have we done memoranda trying to see how we can strengthen the laws we have as ESCC through the Office of the Attorney General? Okay. And where, but there's a gap. Now, let's go to the third tool that yeah. we, can, we want to talk about, financial. When it comes, we know the country is going through a lot of financial, um, maybe constraints because of the loans and all the other things. I don't have the data to support that. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's what is in the public domain, okay. that's what I'm talking about. So, yes, in terms of financial capacity, budget, do we have the capacity to even, one, of our operations. Secondly, to employ adequate number of staff to deal with all the reports that we get. We get over 10,000 reports. And I appreciate all the senators. He's written letters. He's, and many other Kenyans have. But do we have the capacity in terms of human resource to deal with all those reports that are coming to us? Okay. So maybe what we, it, it looks like um, we have done maybe a drop in the ocean. But with what we have, you know, you That's measure what we achieve. have. Yeah. We, no, 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 we can, we can do more okay. if we are resourced more. Okay. And we actually go over and above, let's say 100% <laughs> with what we have yeah. to give okay. service yeah. to yeah. Kenyans. Okay. There's also the aspect of, uh, allow me to just say something about yeah, briefly. Uh, the gentleman, my right said, eh, about culture and the software. You know, uh, ESCC, as uh, the other uh, uh, arm of fighting corruption, is prevention and education. And uh, what we have done, we have gone to primary schools and established what we call Adili clubs, where we have a patron. You know, the way we have many clubs yeah. in mm -hmm. schools mm -hmm. for various environment, yes. tourism, and such. Okay. We have Adili clubs so that we can start inculcating these values in, into children as they are growing up in schools. 
Secondly, we also have, um, we are also working to see how okay. the curriculum can incorporate issues of integrity, of values, of principles, like to break down even the constitution to, okay. the, to the pupil. Article 10, when you talk about national values and principles of governance, what are we talking about? And with, with that child now relate to what our constitution, our laws and other other uh, issues, Thank you. governance issues. Thank you. Right.